Hello and welcome to Harry the Hymer's Holidays. Here we are just leaving Killy Cronane campsite on the Isle of Mull. Um, I'd like to apologise for any mispronunciations of place names in this video. Uh, this was an amazing little site. We stayed here for two nights. It costs £5 per person per night. Uh, the owner comes round on his little quad bike each evening and collects the money. There is a toilet, but it's a hike up the road to the house, so we never went there, so can't comment on that. Uh, the day that we spent the day there, we were watching the sea eagles flying around. Unfortunately, they were too far away to get photos of, but there's always next time. We are just arriving in Salem. Salem is a large village with plenty of amenities. There's a shop, post office, restaurant, a caravan site, coffee shop, laundrette. It's about halfway between where the Oban Ferry comes in and Tobermory. We stopped here to stock up on provisions. There was also a cash point inside the shop, which was very handy. Here we are coming into Craig Neu. If you look on the left, you can see the ferry. This is the main ferry that travels to and from the island from Oban.
This beautiful little village is called Bunazan. It again has many amenities. It's got a general store, post office, a police station. Um, there's the Ross of Mole Historical Centre. There's a church, a doctor's surgery and a primary school. There is also a memorial to Mary MacDonald. Now she was a famous poet who wrote the music, which was named after the village, Bunistan, um, for Child in a Manger, which was a poem that she wrote. This music has now been used for the song Morning Has Broken and that's what it's most recognised for today. Here we are coming into the village of Finnefort. This is where the ferry leaves to go to the island of Iona. It's a small settlement, but there is a gift shop, a grocery shop and a post office. Here we are arriving at Fidham Farm campsite. Fidham Farm charge £10 a night per person. The block that we just drove past there is the toilet and shower block. Never use those so I can't comment on those. There is a tap just through this gate. There's one on either side of the road so that's handy for wherever your fill up point is. Um, all of this is the campsite, you can pitch up anywhere that you like. Down here on the left hand side where there's the portable toilets, there's also the chemical disposal point. This is driving down to the point where we parked up for the night. Absolutely stunning place. Unfortunately, it was pouring with rain and blowing a gale, so it wasn't at its best. But we did get a few photographs. While we were here, we hope you enjoy them.